Oh, Dominic Fetty, I'm the um, Tourism Minister for St. Lucia. I also chair the Caribbean Tourism Council of Ministers. Well, good afternoon, Minister, and I really appreciate your time this afternoon. We're coming to the end of the first day of World Travel Market here in London. How's the show going for you this year? Pretty good. Uh, met lots of interesting people, lots of interesting meetings. Uh, our stand has been very busy. And of course, I mean, WTM, we always look forward to it. It's that time of the year where we get to come and uh, ensure that we do a lot of good business, have a lot of good um, interactions with our stakeholders. You've certainly been making headlines uh, here in the UK. A new relationship with both Carnival and Royal Caribbean to develop the cruise industry on the islands. Well, it's a big deal for St. Lucia. What it does, it decentralizes the cruise uh, cruising offering. At the moment, uh, in the northwest of the island, Castries is our capital, tends to dominate the cruising uh, sector. But now what we are able to do is to bring uh, opportunities to the people of the south as well and to give cruise customers so much more experience. Uh, bring them as well closer to the attractions and as well heightens the island ability to be able to ho do home porting. So the airport facility is right next to the cruise port and by building this new cruise port facility uh, it does help the logistics a lot more and, and makes us a, a very very likely candidate for home porting. How important is the cruise sector more generally to the destination? Very important. Um, we get almost a million cruise passengers a year, uh, an average spend of about $70 per passenger. Um, it goes right into the heart of the economy, you know, taxi drivers and craft vendors and a lot of people do benefit. But the fantastic thing about cruising for passengers is that they get to sample multiple islands, uh, multiple regions in the Caribbean at once. And the whole flexibility that it offers is just absolutely <laughs> incomparable. So it is a very important component of, of tourism and what we do. And you know, it is something that St. Lucia em embraces wholeheartedly. We have some of the best attractions uh, in the Caribbean, like our uh, volcano, uh, which is one of the most accessible volcanoes in the world, and our pitons, which is a World Heritage uh, site that gives uh, visitors a, a, an enthralling uh, a, attraction and a most uh, delightful opportunity to come and see nature at its best. And that airport you mentioned there as well, that's also being expanded, developed to improve the infrastructure even further. Absolutely. Um, come with that question again, I didn't get that. The airport as well is also being developed as well, uh, more facilities coming online there. Yeah, well the airport is, is actually part of planning. We're seeing, when we look at all the investment in the pipeline, St. Lucia uh, in about 10 years time could have an extra 2,000 hotel rooms, uh, which would mean our room stock would go up uh, considerably by about 30-40%. And that would mean that we've got to plan for this extra traffic. We've got to ensure that we're able to facilitate more passengers. We're able to facilitate bigger aircrafts that are being manufactured in the business right now. So um, we've got a, a huge opportunity to uh, build a brand new terminal, uh, expand the runway, build more aprons, and to ensure the logistics of uh, and comfort and uh, technology is optimized to ensure that customers are being facilitated more seamlessly as we do now. And British Airways will be joining you out of the UK next summer as well. Next summer as well, and um, you know we're hoping to catch up with BA during WTM and to uh, have discussions with them as to how we can take our opportunities forward recognized as the world's leading honeymoon destination by the World Travel Awards. Now they're voted for by members of the public and members of the industry. What are useful accolades like that for your brand? Extremely humbled and proud and it really uh, does uh, say a very uh, important thing about St. Lucia and that is we're one of the most romantic places on earth. We are very pleased about that. Uh, we are a big honeymoon destination. Uh, the honeymoon uh, and romance component uh, makes up a significant portion of the business and, and we absolutely uh, are very happy about that, no doubt. And just finally, in your role as uh, chairman of the CTO, you unveil a restructuring there, uh, offices are closing, but what's the motivation behind that? Well, the motivation is very uh, simple. We want to have a better return on our investment. Uh, at the moment, uh, the administrative costs are just too high. And what we've got to do is to make sure that we give our members the best return on investment. The CTO was established back in the 1970s. And back then, a number of the members uh, were agricultural-based economies. Now they're tourism-based economies. And what they have done is that they've invested a lot more 
in infrastructure, in offices, all across the main markets, which is the UK, US, uh, certain parts of Europe, and also the Canadian market. And so what we've got to do now is to ensure that we're not duplicating the services that are being rendered already by our members, but that we are ensuring that we give them something that they are not able to do to them for themselves. And so we've got to now uh, leverage the strength of the Caribbean brand. The Caribbean brand remains one of the strongest travel brands in the world, but it is perhaps the most neglected travel brand in the world. And so we've got to restructure and get the uh, financial room that we need to be able to invest uh, you know, strategically into marketing the Caribbean, into our research for uh, tourism information and statistics so that we can make very strategic decisions uh, from a government point of view, from a development point of view. And we can show uh, customers all over the world that the Caribbean is just the most amazing place in the world to visit. Very interesting points, Minister, and I really appreciate your time today. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Chris.